Well, it only seems uh, appropriate to talk about soybeans going into a USDA report. So generally speaking, we have traded lower through uh, after these U uh, May USDA reports. So that's something that we're going to have to keep an eye on. Another thing we're going to have to keep an eye on is look, we've had a buck fifty, buck sixty break here since February. On top of that, we've had these issues with China. Now, yes, we have been trading the tweets, we've been trading the Twitter sphere, we've been we've been trading. <clears throat> everything that comes out over the weekend on Monday mornings. Uh, but here, here, here's the deal. Uh, USDA is going to be a binary event. It's going to be tough to have that on because either you have it on right or you have it on wrong. Whatever the number may be, it's an up or down vote, right? So that's difficult. And then number two is this, what are we going to get with China? Is there going to be some sort of deal out there? Now, we've got a family farm. I, I know how hard it's been for the farmers out there as of late, and it continues to be so. And it's no good to be going into these reports at this moment in time with the prices on the board like they are because they are very low. So what are we going to need to get these things going? Well, number one, I've said it already, we need to get a positive deal with China, our number one customer. But number two is we're going to have to have something that Mother Nature brings us that kind of squeezes these shorts out. These funds are strong right now, and they're stronger than the longs. The longs are weak, the shorts are strong, and we're going to need to see some sort of Mother Nature-like event and or some sort of China-like event to make the funds have to run for the door and get out of their shorts and cannibalize, cannibalize themselves on the way out of the market. So that's what we're really watching. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.